Lake Winnipeg has generated countless tales of excitement and oddity. Among stories of the latter sort are the peculiar escapades of the Little Dane, August Larson. Larson appeared on the scene in 1896 when he made his home in a cove behind an island at Balsam Bay. Over the next 17 years, locals observed his antics with a mix of amusement, confusion, and suspicion. In the summer, Larson would ride his ox to Balsam Bay to get the mail. His habit was to read the newspaper as he rode, making for an entertaining scene. In the winter, he would rig up a sleigh with a sail and slide across the ice. Larson's chosen enterprise led to both his departure from the area and to his legacy. Knowing a profit could be made in Selkirk off of wood from the shores of the lake, he constructed a barge to take it there. He launched it himself with a winch and his ox. He hired three or four men to help him for the trip south, but only he was willing to climb the very tall mast to fix the clock for the sail. As complaints came in questioning Larson's sanity, Selkirk's sheriff committed him to the town's mental hospital. Constable Anderson, however, told the sheriff that he estimated that that man is as sane as you are. Within three days, Larson escaped the hospital and disappeared. He later sent letters to Anderson from Minnesota, calling himself a spiritualist and hypnotist, saying he had invented a cream separator, and speaking about a coming trip to Europe. When Larson had been sailing his barge, he had set up a beacon on shore to assist in safe return at night. In 1900, the Canadian Northern Railway named its nearby station Baconia after Larson's Beacon.